Hi everyone. So today we've uh, come to a pub stopover just for the night and it's a place called the Blue Lias at Stockton. Fantastic place. Um, let me just uh, tilt you around and show you. Right next to the canal. Absolutely beautiful. You're not going to get much better than this. That's the place there. Canal side in. And there's a little pan around of the site. Bit of fishing in the corner over there. Not many people here, which is how we like it. Uh, a few more over there. Absolutely beautiful. Look at the weather. And there's our little setup over there. A bit close to the water. A nice electric hookup, which is uh, very unusual. Normally we like to do the off-grid thing and use the solar power. But today we've got a treat. Uh, booked in for the pub tonight. Um, so you can't really beat that. Camping, electric, pub, beer food. What more can you ask for? Catch you later. Look at what we're going to be waking up to in the morning. Open the doors and right next to the canal. Let's just hope we don't end up in it. Have we put the handbrake on Ali? of 10 locks in total I'm not actually quite sure how long it takes to get from bottom to top or top to bottom but I'm sure it's a fair few hours and a lot of hard work anyway there's a few boats coming up apparently so this is uh, Stockton Locks again Literally two minute walk down the canal from uh, the campsite and it's a beautiful day. There's a few boats coming up. I'll show you. I bet that's took them a while though. Wow, look at these showers and toilets. Absolutely immaculate. Look at that. Fantastic. Not bad, 25 quid a night with electric. Not quite sure if this one's a home conversion. So apparently this is the place to fish if you uh, begin to carp fishing. I'll uh, just uh, swivel you around and have a quick look. Apparently they're all doubles in here. Guy over there, he's just had a 30 pound carp and he reckons he's here for four days. Um, he was wrapped up nice and toasty in his bivvies, apparently. Happy camping. And that's the finished article. Let's uh, hope we enjoy it. So, good morning. Um, beautiful day again. Very nice uh, sleep last night. Um, we went down to the pub. 
had a beautiful meal. I think we had scampi and chips, onion rings, peas, and a nice pint and a bottle of wine. Uh, back to the van, watched a little bit of uh, catch up on TV and uh, good night's sleep. Anyway, uh, we've woke up again this morning to absolutely gorgeous weather for October. In fact, I burnt my nose yesterday, look. Um, this is an amazing place. If you want to get away for a weekend and just quiet, peaceful. Uh, unfortunately, there's no children allowed on the site. Um, first time, really, that we've been to a site that hasn't had children. And to be honest, it's bloody lovely. Um, they do allow pets, um, as long as they're on a the lead. And there's plenty to do. Um, boating, walking, fishing, drinking, eating. Um, so yeah, I'm in fact right next to the river now. If I point it round. Nice little boat there going past. So you can see how close we are to the, the canal. I think it's actually called the Grand Union Canal. Um, so yeah, this is the, our weekend. Had the breakfast. I think I'll have shown you a few clips of that cooking away. The nice famous pickle breakfast. Um, I might as well also show you a few modifications I've been doing on the van just lately. Um, seems to be just in the evening time when I get a chance after work. So I'll show you the first one we did. So basically we did have two double beds there. Um, unfortunately one was too high and one was too low and then you had just a small garage at the bottom. So what we've done is done away with one double bed lifted this one quite a lot higher so we've now got nice space above and then we've also got a bigger space at the bottom for the garage i've also done a modification here uh, had this tambour door made which basically keeps everything nice and tidy out of the garage so we can get into our second fridge loads of storage in there wash bags you name it it's all in there um, so that was done uh, we also had to cut this ladder down because as a lot of you know me I've got short legs and so has Alison so we need this to get up in fact we could use that for getting up to do the cooking as well not very funny that is it anyway the other modifications we've done um, is I made this nice shelf it was basically just too much space above the cab and it was just a wasted area and we could have done with a little bit more storage so basically what I did I went onto eBay and bought myself a template that fit all around this area here because I'll be honest I couldn't scribe all that out so actually if anybody wants a template they're welcome to it so it's for a Volkswagen crafter I think it actually fits the Sprinter as well but as you can see it's a perfect fit and all I did is done the carpet in over the top and I've got all that nice lovely storage up there also I bought this cab curtain from Vanex which are basically the same as the standard Vanex covers or should I say blinds black on the outside grey on the in and what this basically does is just pulls across the cab and basically gives you a lot more insulation and privacy saves you putting the uh, silver blinds up on the outside what else have I done? Oh yeah, I fit myself this nice fancy um, electronics box. Basically, it gives me two more USBs, um, 12 volt charger for plugging in the Jackery, um, which I'll probably show you at a later date. Um, various switches for bits I want to add later. As you can see there, one of them is for the cab light, um, which basically I fit that as well last week. There's a nice cab light that you can basically put under there. So it gives you a bit of light around that area because it's normally a space that's quite dark. Also, there's a nice little USB in the back there. Which put in the uh, old drone batteries on charge on the move. I'm trying to think what else I've had. Oh yeah, diesel heater. Um, I didn't install the heater. It's an 8 kilowatt Chinese diesel. So here's the rear of the... Uh, the bed that I've done the modification, you can actually see from this distance to here is the height that I basically lifted it up, so it's quite a good area. And we've also got a nice fancy light in here as well. There we go. Colour changer as well, I believe. 
There you go, nice bit of red. Probably can't see it in this light. So yeah, we keep everything in there. Kadak, spare water, onboard 100 litre water, chocks, bags, booze, tent pegs, wash bucket. I've also fit this fire hammer. Um, basically, it keeps all the products in there for cleaning the van. Um, very handy, putting your shoes in, trainers, walking boots, whatever you like. Um, this is a nice little storage for the fire hammer wind out awning as well. And that's the support if ever needed. Um, that's it, so yeah. We'll see what other modifications can, we can do next time.